Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you are doing well and enjoying the lessons. Keep learning and stay tuned to get the latest updates. Subscribe to my channel for the new lessons. Like and share it. If you find the lessons useful, you can drop your comments in the comment box. In today's session, we are discussing the pronoun. Okay, friends, uh, let's start the lesson. Read the following. Here we have introduced a famous musician, Wolfgang Amandius Mozart. When we talk about him for the first time or introduce him, we use his proper name. After that, we substitute it with a suitable personal pronoun. From this, one thing is clear. Repeating the name Wolfgang Amandus Mozart several times doesn't sound natural. So we use a pronoun in order to avoid the repetition of a noun. So a pronoun is a word used in place of a noun in order to avoid its repetition. Look at the following example. Mohan and Mira are friends. They like each other. Here we use their proper names to introduce them. Then we use the pronoun they to talk about them further. Hope you have understood this point. Pronouns are classified into different kinds such as personal pronouns, reflexive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, interrogative pronouns, elective pronouns, indefinite pronouns, and distributive pronouns, etc. Personal pronouns. Personal pronouns are called so because they stand for persons. Remember, they stand for three different persons, such as first person, that is the speaker, second person, that is the person spoken to and third person that is the one spoken about you look at the following table of personal pronouns as you already know personal pronouns stand for first second and third persons respectively they are also classified into singular and plural depending on their number first person first person singular is i first person plural is we similarly second person remember second person you has the same form as singular and plural then third person third person singular pronouns are he she and it third person plural pronoun is they case of a pronoun don't get embarrassed with this expression case of a pronoun indicates how it is used that is whether it is used as the subject or object or to show the possession or ownership. The form of a pronoun used as the subject of a sentence or we can say the subject form of a pronoun is said to be in the nominative case. Object form of a pronoun is said to be in the accusative case. Possessive form of a pronoun is used to show 
the possession, ownership, authority, etc. Remember my, our, your, her, their, etc. are used as possessive adjectives. My house, your pen, their car. See, in all these expressions, my, your, our, etc. are used as possessive adjectives. Reflexive pronouns. She praised herself. You have deceived yourself. I have satisfied myself. They seated themselves in all these sentences. Herself, yourself, myself, themselves, etc. are reflexive pronouns. Remember, reflexive pronouns can be used in two ways. First, to reflect or turn the action of the subject back upon itself. For example, I cursed myself. Now yourself. She admired herself. <coughs> Secondly, to add emphasis or stress to the noun or pronoun used. For example, I will go there myself. The minister himself said so. They themselves realized their mistakes. Remember, reflexive pronouns are formed by adding self or cells to personal pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns are used to point out a thing or things. They are commonly used in spoken language. The words this, these, that, those, etc. are demonstrative pronouns when they are used alone, when they stand alone. Remember this, that, these, those, etc. are demonstrative adjectives when they are used with a noun. So this is a very important point. Remember it. Look at the examples. This is the house that Jack built. That is the reason for their quarrel. Those are the staff quarters. These are the heroes they worship. Interrogative pronouns. Pronouns used in asking questions are called interrogative pronouns. Example, who, whom, whose, what, which. What did you do? Who wants to join the party? Which is your pen? Whose is this pen? Whom did you meet? Remember, what is used to refer to things, who is used to refer to persons, and which is used to refer to persons or things. Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns are used to join together two sentences. Relative pronouns in English are who, whom, whose, which, what, and that. Remember, who generally refers to human beings, which to animals and inanimate things. The relative pronoun that is often used for who, who,
whom or which for example this is the car that that means which johnny bought similarly abraham lincoln was the best president that that is who ever ruled america next one the girls that that is whom the prime minister praised were very much pleased remember whom is generally used in formal english it is common to use who in ordinary conversation indefinite pronouns pronouns which do not refer to any particular person or thing are called indefinite pronouns for example one none nobody nothing some somebody anybody anyone someone something all few many etc distributive pronouns pronouns which refer to persons or things one at a time are called distributive pronouns example each either neither etc remember distributive pronouns are always singular hope you have thoroughly enjoyed the session we can work out the given questions in order to consolidate the concepts you can drop your comments for improvement thank you for watching stay tuned